Hello, 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 my friends, and welcome to the Level 1 Public Speaking Through Comedy Grad Show. I am very happy to be your host. I'm Stefan Dyer Malpensandos, co-founder and facilitator, instructor of these five incredible students of the Public Speaking Through Comedy class. How's everyone doing today? I want to see you uh, doing a virtual laugh. I want to see you uh, doing a, uh, yeah, Rodrigo, I see Willard, you know, what? because we're such a tight, uh, a, a very intimate uh, uh, cl uh, group today. Do not activate your microphones, but activate your cameras. We want to be able to see you just to say hi for now. Hi, Pilar. Hi, Willard. How, how Rodrigo? Hi, Rodrigo Diaz. Hi, uh, okay, good, we're good. We got a lot of Juliana Stewart, Kim, P. Lorch, Mariana Melgar. I see a lot of people here, I'm excited. Okay, so where, where uh, in the chat, can you please comment? Where are you connecting out of? Are you in Peru? Are you in Cyprus, Colombia, US, Canada? So we got a, we got a very diverse set of graduating students today. We got people from the US, Canada, Peru, Colombia, and Cyprus slash Greece. So we're very excited. Nice, I see, I see a couple more cameras, very good. So for the benefit of, of our guests today, Malpensando is a comedy school that was founded in 2014 and we facilitate public speaking, comedy, and improv courses where we help people become funny, confident speakers. Since 2017, we've been teaching these workshops, obviously in person, but throughout the pandemic. Since April, we started to facilitate them online. Because I am from Costa Rica, and Juan, my my uh, co my my business partner and co-founder of Malpensando, he's from Colombia as well. We teach all the courses in Spanish and English. So today you'll see uh, uh, the grad show in English, obviously, but. Some of you may have seen other courses where it is in Spanish. So what happens? What happens in these six weeks? So basically, they learn how to conquer the fear of public speaking. They learn how to breathe, to control nervousness, to warm up your body, to warm up your vocals. They learn how to overcome the fear of public speaking, stage presence. They learn how to pause, eye contact, authenticity, vulnerability, basically to be themselves. And I wanna just give a, a disclaimer here. The students that you will see today, they are not, they are not professional comedians. So if their jokes suck, you laugh, okay? If their jokes suck, you laugh, okay, okay? Okay, good. I see Rodrigo is on the, yeah, he's on the ball, I see it good. But if their jokes are good, you laugh even more, okay? And I wanna see, just so that the students don't get too nervous, let's do a demo. On the count of three, we're all gonna laugh in the chat, okay? And this is how we're gonna laugh when their jokes are me mediocre, normal, or really good. We're just gonna be supportive throughout the entire show. So on the count of three, and I'm, and I'm gonna do it myself, we're gonna comment in the chat with emojis, ha 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 ha's, LOLs, and everything we can do to make the students feel more comfortable. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three, let's go. Ah, I see ja, 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 little lows in Spanish and English. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, good, good. I see lots of support here. I see ha, ha, ha's, P. Lorch, har, har, har's. Okay, good. I'm guessing P. Lorch is related to Mason, Mason Lorch. I'm not sure how they do it in the U.S., the, how they laugh, but it seems like they laugh differently. In uh, in Latin America, it's ja, ja, ja with, with uh, J's. In uh, Canada, it's ha, ha, ha with H's. In Brazil, it's K, 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 K. And in the U.S., it is har, 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 according to P. Large. Okay, Mariana says ha, 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 he, 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 ho, ho, ho. Okay, good. We're good, my friends. And, okay, Rodrigo, Rodrigo Diaz. I have, look, I, I, I've been thinking about this the entire show, which has been the last two minutes. Rodrigo, I'm saying your, your name is Rodrigo Diaz Capt. 
And it sounds, you look like you're Canadian, but your name is Latino. Are you from Peru? Let's see. Rodrigo is typing. Argentina, boludo. Muy bien. Okay, yeah, you look Argentinian. I, yeah, you look Argentinian. You look Argentinian. Okay, really good. Okay, my friends, the way this works is each student will come and do their first ever five-minute humorous speech, okay? And I will be the MC in between. You see Juan with the Base Pro Shops hat. He's the co-founder of Malpensando. He's saying hi. He's there for support. And before we start, I want to acknowledge our partners for the entire year and it's Lisbeth Herrera real estate person she is incredible she's Venezuelan and she helps people find their dream home or a home or rent she helped me build uh she helped me buy this little apartment for me my wife and my little boy so I mean the apartment is still standing so it works if you need to talk to Lisbeth Herrera just contact her on Instagram even if you don't want to buy or rent or anything her Instagram is so good she always has incredible tips. Lisbeth Herrera, Realtor on Instagram. And we also want to acknowledge Parsai Immigration Services, our partner in immigration. And they speak Spanish and they speak English, same as Lisbeth. And if you want to come live or study or work to Canada, you can email muna at parsai.ca. And she speaks Spanish and English. They are our partners. If you want to visit them in person, they are literally Toronto downtown in front of City Hall at the hotel, second floor, and they are incredible. In fact, the founder, Al Parsai, has written a lot of books that, have, uh, that are bestsellers in terms of immigration and how to come to Canada. And the third announcement before we start is that if you want to join the course, the next course, which starts in January, January 19 in Spanish, Tuesdays and January 20, Wednesdays in English, you can uh, use the promo code GRADSHOW and you get $50 off for the whole seven week program, six weeks plus the grad show on the seventh week. We relaunch it so it'll be even better than today. Hard to believe, but it'll be incredible. All right, we're about to start this show and I am very excited, my friends. Mariana Melgar is asking, is it going to be in YouTube? Yes, it's going to be on YouTube in case you want to share it with, with anyone uh, after. And make sure that your friends are also okay with you sharing their grad show. So you might want to make your decision after the grad show. <laughs> no, no, no. The shows are going to be incredible. We're going to be supportive. We're going to do ha 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 la 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 and everything, okay? If you have questions or comments in the chat, we're going to have a great time. Okay. My people, are you ready? I want to see I want to see in the chat. Are you ready? Say yes. Say this is the best day of my life. Say I'm Rodrigo and I I look Canadian but I am Argentinian. Uh, say P Lord, say har har har. Emily, I, you you uh, comment Kim. Kim is doing like this. Okay, perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends and citizens of the world. We are about to start this public speaking through comedy show level one. And the first student, she is from U of T. She is an incredible friend. She is very smart. And she is also, actually, no, 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 my bad, my bad. I haven't even introduced the students. Oh my God. Okay, on the count of three, I want the students to activate their cameras and their microphones and to say hi. My bad. I'm nervous like that. One, two, three. Three. Yes. Hello, hello. Hello. Hey. Hola. Yes. Thank hello, you guys for hello. coming. We're ready, we're ready. We got a lot of people supporting. Okay, hello, yeah. we got Paolo, Mason, Costas, and Kate. Amazing. So now we are gonna start the show. You get to see the students only the students will have their microphones on, activated, but the audience can have their cameras activated, but please do not activate your audio so that we, we can focus on the audio of the, of the student performing. All right, we're gonna get the show started. Ladies and gentlemen, she is from U of T. 
She is incredible. She is smart. She was raised in Scarborough. She's a member of the LGBTQ plus community. And she is my friend. I'm super proud of her. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kay. Hello. Hello. Oh, my goodness. Hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kate. <laughs> uh, and this is me when I was a kid. See those eyes. <laughs> my family is Métis. We've been on Dish With One Spoon territory for a long time now. <laughs> and yes, we have a lot to account for. <laughs> I've never said those words before, but I have learned that they are true. We've been hiding for a long time, so hello. <laughs> I am from Scarborough, <laughs> uh, born and raised. Mm. <laughs> I love Scarborough. People seem to be afraid of Scarborough. <laughs> Every time I say that, they go, ooh, Scarborough. You must own a lot of pirated DVDs and be scared all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that really bugs me. <laughs> it really bugs me because the reason I am scared all the time has nothing to do with Scarborough. <laughs> That's the patriarchy. That's that one. <laughs> I've been out for uh, about a decade now out of the closet. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so many closets. So many, so many closets. And it still feels like coming out every single day. People are always like, but don't you want a man? And I'm like, well, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> 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 I'm growing a beard. This is not a gay joke. I'm growing a beard. <laughs> It, uh, <laughs> it, it shocked me too at first. I'm uh, I'm gonna go from Kate Winslet to uh, <laughs> to Ryan Reynolds in one lifetime. <laughs> Just kidding. I know I'm not that hot. It is happening though, <laughs> and I'm PMSing at the same time. Oh, <laughs> oh, geez. I cut my hair too. I did just uh, about two years ago, 2018. At uh, I did it on the street at Toronto Pride. Mm-hmm. People have asked me, uh, why is cutting why is cutting hair such a big thing for queer people? And it's like long hair is good too. Long hair is good too. <laughs> but this was uh, this was an important thing for me. Uh, before before I cut my hair, I uh, I clipped a piece and I buried it because I'm a witch. <laughs> 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 just kidding, just kidding. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. <laughs> I am single right now, and dating is hard. Dating is hard, especially in a pandemic. <laughs> People tell me, let's be real here. I'm not dating. <laughs> I'm too fucking crazy. <laughs> Taking that word out of my vocabulary. <laughs> Seriously though, I think that uh, I think that my singleness might be leading me into a drinking problem. <laughs> Can we blame it on that? <laughs> fighting a deep deep depression <laughs> that void is dark it's dark <laughs> it's like i'm on the titanic and we've already hit the iceberg <laughs> and the ship is going down and people are running around and everybody's screaming and throwing things and i'm like no listen to me <laughs> everybody we are not gonna do this today <laughs> <laughs> as if it were that simple <laughs> i wish so <laughs> people call me a tree hugger <laughs> I mean, literally, they're not wrong. <laughs> they say I'm uh, Lisa Simpson. Again, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe a little bit in in most parts, except when it comes to defending racist stereotypes. I won't do it. I won't do it. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's going fast. <laughs> I am so grateful for. Uh, everyone who is here today, and it's like, who am I to say this? But I am so proud of every single one of you. Uh, we've been on uh, we've been on a journey together these last weeks. We've talked about a lot of things. <laughs> uh, we've talked about personal growth. We've talked about mayonnaise. <laughs> we've talked about solidarity, nationality, mental health. That's what I'm talking about. Unity good things, and the hard stuff. Cheers, Woo! my friends. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! The part that I felt from everybody who I've met through Malpensando is really something else. 
Like, seriously, I love you guys. <laughs> and it's like, whoa, 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 what is, what is this turning into a therapy session? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Listen, I will leave you with this. It grew from the minions <laughs> and Kung Fu Panda and our coming <laughs> amazing, the four amazing comedians and, hum and human beings who are coming up in this show right now and the two hottest mouth and sandal teachers ever <laughs> get together. I want to be there. <laughs> Thank you and good night. <laughs> bravo. Bravo, bravo. Let's go, let's go, let's go, Kate. I love a round of applause again for Kate. Virtual applause, round of applause. Comment in the chat. She's, she did incredible. <laughs> Juliana Stewart says, great job, so proud. Mariana Melgada, bravo. Kim snaps for Kate. Yeah. <laughs> so what Kate said is true. Like, this has been a journey. Every workshop is a journey. We probably shared with each other things that we don't even tell our families or our friends. It becomes therapy. Like, it is therapy. And uh, it's, it's therapeutic. It's cathartic in a way. Uh, we always talk about the, the formula of comedy. And... All comedy is, is just truth and pain, or another way to see it, it is tragedy plus time. So if you saw Kate's great, amazing, amazing humorous speech, she wasn't telling jokes that other people say in, in pop culture or, or just in general culture. She's talking about her own life and then drawing like fun out of it. So I want to congratulate you again, Kate, for being vulnerable. Bravo, bravo, bravo and sharing your life and telling us about your, your, your struggles and how you've overcome them. You're dating or maybe you're not dating, but we still love yeah. it right now. <laughs> All right, my That's friend, right. our next student is very smart. He is very yeah. handsome. He speaks many languages. He is European. He is also a whiz when it comes to accounting. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the main man, the unbreakable, the unmistakable, Costas Teodoro. Let's go, Costas. Thank you, uh, Stefan, for that wonderful introduction. I think I am, you know, attractive and good looking. Um, and uh, Kate, that was an amazing set. So, as Stefan said, my name is uh, Costas Theodulu, and yes, I'm Greek. Actually, I'm Cypriot, which means I come from an island next to Turkey that was stolen by Turkey from Greece. So <laughs> what that means is that white people have no idea where I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> Many people have told me that I look like, hold on, an undercover spy, <laughs> which I can't confirm or deny that statement, or else something could happen to you right now. <laughs> On to more important topics. First impressions. You know, people make first impressions within the first nine seconds of meeting with you. For me, it's heartbreaking what they think about me when they find out that I'm Muslim, when they ask me. So they will say, oh, cool. What part of the Middle East are you from? I'm like, I'm from Cyprus. So you're from Saudi Arabia? I'm like, no, I'm Muslim from Cyprus. They're like, oh, cool. Do you have four wives? Like, <laughs> no, I'm not that type of slut. But having four husbands would be amazing because we could create our own basketball team. And I love playing with balls. <laughs> now. <laughs> now. <laughs> Lastly, because of my eyes, people always think 
I'm smoking weed, and that I'm white. Which is weird to have in the same sentence because one has caused a lot of harm to society and the other one just relaxes you. And just to clarify, the one that relaxes you is now legal in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> to add to the confusion, I told them I'm a father to two wonderful children. Their ages are seven and 10, which no one believes me because I look so young, so attractive. This is because of my perfect Mediterranean genetics, which I have to thank for. And it's also because of my diet of eating lamb, feta, olives, and having the daily morning shot of ouzo. Why <laughs> 22 at your local alcoholic store? <laughs> uh. Speaking about food, I always get into trouble in re at restaurants in Canada. I noticed that the atmosphere is so peaceful, so elegant. But when I show up with a group of 10 Cypriots, Greeks, Lebanese, it becomes like a party. We are so loud, we don't even notice. <laughs> I sit down and I'm like, Malacca, my sex life is amazing. <laughs> and they're like, Hus, Habibi, Yella, tell us more. I couldn't be more happier. Do you know that I'm a spy? And they're colors, haram, habibi. No. <laughs> uh, like, can you hear me? I think I'm too quiet. And then I'm like, they're like, halas, habibi, yell it louder. And then I look around the restaurant and notice we have interrupted everyone's meal. <laughs> because being Cypriot, we speak with our hands a lot, like, you know, Italians, Latinos, Lebanese. And it <laughs> caused me to be in a very uncomfortable situation, especially in restaurants. I would be like, explain something. Like, yeah, Habibi, my, my sex life is amazing. And boom. I hit a waiter in the crotch. So <laughs> I apologize to them and say, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I am from Saudi Arabia. <laughs> <laughs> I am moved to Canada. But if the waiter is hot, I would be like flirting with him, like, ah, do you want to be my second husband? <laughs> Thank you so much. Again, my name, oh, my name is Costas Theodulu <laughs> from Cyprus, an island that no one knows where the island is in the world. Thank you very much. Yeah, round of applause for yeah. from Cyprus, Greece, Saudi Arabia, Canada, uh, Turkey. You never know. Like that's, I have the same problem. My my family, my parents are from Peru. I was born in Costa Rica, but I moved to El Salvador, Mexico, Montreal, and Toronto, all because of my dad's job. My dad's a drug lord. I don't I don't even know where I'm from. It it's incredible. This is this is weird. I don't know. And in Canada, I'm like, hi, I'm Stefan. I'm Costa Rican, <laughs> or as Canadians call us, Mexican. You know, it's like if you speak Spanish, you're Mexican in Canada. I don't know what it is. Nothing against Mexicans. I love Mexicans. And you know who I love too? Peruvians. Our next student comes from Peru. 
And uh, we share a lot of things. We share our love for poker. We share our love for surfing. We share our love for flip-flops. My mom and his mom are best friends. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the unbreakable, the unmistakable, the highly capable, Paolo Rathbone. Yeah. Hey. My name is Paulo from Lima, Peru, and I have to say, this course was super cool. So please, an applause for the group. Yeah. Make people. Yeah. So we had to do an exercise where people tell us who we look like. Some people said, I look like the Inca Russell Crowe. Some others say, I look like Aragorn after rehab. But the truth <laughs> I look like Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> <laughs> I just ate, so I'm still I'm still digesting. So my kung fu might not be as good as later. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love food, as you can tell. I'm bombed on how the most delicious food is the least healthiest. I'm like a Pac-Man, but that hasn't taken me too far. I'm five six tall, super short, weigh 180 pounds, so I run. So I don't run, I roll. You know what I mean. <laughs> So freaking hard to diet when there are so many delicious things to eat, to eat. For example, chocolates. Who doesn't like chocolates? I would say 90% of the, of the people on this planet likes chocolates, right? I control myself. Yeah. Otherwise, I would probably be weighing an extra 50 pounds and be looking like a chicken, a walking chicken McNugget. <laughs> and the flip <laughs> I wear my Havaiana flip-flops almost all day, every day, but I get super bombed because my Havis break all the time. Havis, AKA flip-flops, Jandals in New Zealand, or Thongs Mate, Australia, so many names. Worldwide product, but still can't figure out if it's the quality of the sandals or actually my fault that they break so often. <laughs> I love my Havaianas. It could be eight degrees outside and I'm in my flip-flops. Don't know what happens but they only last me two to three months. They get super thin from the use, but the main problem is the rubber that holds the flip-flop together with your foot freaking breaks all the time. Maybe it's my weight. Maybe it's that the flip-flop for a six, five, six person aren't made to hold 180 pounds. Plus my foot <laughs> looks like a chunky sweet potato. It's, it's like Hulk wearing a ballet shoes and dancing the white swan. Yeah, my girlfriend does too. And I end up, yeah, because I end up using different color flip-flops since one foot always breaks before the other. <laughs> and yeah, I have a girlfriend. Her name is Melissa. She's actually watching the show right now. She'll, she's helped me out through this process a lot. So thank you. Yeah, yeah. Melissa. Whenever she sleeps over at my house, she does a lot of weird things. The other day, it was 5 a.m. in the morning, obviously in the morning because it's 5 a.m. So I wake up. <laughs> half walking asleep and I take a piss and bam, what the fuck? I'm suddenly sitting on the toilet lid. Who on earth puts the toilet lid down? <laughs> so you're probably thinking, why the heck does he pee sitting down? I know I'm a guy and I should probably pee standing up, but 5 a.m. when you're half asleep, trust me, it's much easier. Luckily I do this. Otherwise, if you think about it, I would have ended up peeing on the toilet lid and splashing on the floor. I'm not drunk. I'm just sleeping. That's not how you want to start, that's not how you want to start your day. By now, it's gotten funny. I don't really get annoyed. Actually do, but not maybe. But I tease her. So yes. You know what else is funny? She always splits food on equal halves. She's like this tiny and skinny person that eats a lot. So if I have 300 grams of meat on my plate, she wants 300 meats on hers. She doesn't finish it, but she wants it on her plate equally. You know one funny thing I've noticed? Girls want everything equally. Sorry, girls, but it's true. But only when it's convenient, right? Eating equally, salaries equally, public office opportunities equally, but when it's about ladies night and entering the dance club for free, they don't, okay? I don't see any men's night happening, right? I know. I know it probably would never happen because no one would go anyways as there's no girls but <laughs> well, 
Now I want to switch topics a little bit. As I mentioned before, I'm from Lima, Peru, and in, politi in Peru, politics are a mess. But I'm surprised on what we Peruvians can achieve when we unite. Mm. The yeah. politics shit went on this last week's in Peru. New generation rose up demanding democracy. The whole country united went on protest. And in five days, we made the president resign. Incredible. Woo! -hoo -hoo! Woo! Yeah. Imagine what united people can achieve. We could eliminate porn. We could criminalize racism. We could get Kate to start dating again. <laughs> we could get Mason to improve his Russian accent, even though he, does, he hasn't done it yet, but you'll see. We could get better Havana Santos made, and definitely, but most definitely, we could get Melissa, my girlfriend, to not leave the toilet bed down. <laughs> we should do this more often. We gotta demand the rights. We gotta fight for our well being. Don't let politicians step on us. Union makes the force. Unity is what we need. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Yeah. Woo! That's it for my time. Thank you very much. Thanks for the group. It's been amazing. Um, Kung Fu Panda out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Woo! Amazing, amazing, Paolo Rathbone. <laughs> the Aragorn after rehab, Kung Fu Panda, the Peruvian, the Inca, Russell Crowe. I love it. <laughs> and I see uh, uh, Paolo's mom, Mariana, super proud there. Hello, Mariana, who just also did the course the term before. Juan says, Paulo for president. <laughs> yeah, we should have just voted you in instead of, of the ex-president. Now you should be, you should be uh, the president of Peru, man. Uh, Habis for everyone. You know? <laughs> Flip-flops for everyone. That would fix the country. You know? Amen. Rodrigo Diaz says amen to that. Incredible. So, uh, Paulo, I loved it, man. I loved it especially the part of the havies. Uh, do you have your havies on right now? Actually, I do, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, if you're only wearing flip-flops th throughout the year, then it's, it's a lot cheaper. This is the part that always breaks in the bottom. Um, so I see. This, this thing right here breaks off. And then, but there's a way to fix it. You can actually pull How? A screw in the middle and get it together with the other part that, that it got off from. And then, I mean, when you walk, you'll hear a little like clink, 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 <laughs> but it does the job. There you go. At least people know you're coming, you know, when they, like when they put uh, like a necklace for pets, the, the, the thing is like the equivalent for you. Now they know you're coming and, uh, and it works, man. I'm I'm happy. I'm happy you're you're uh, innovating when it comes to flip flops. Rodrigo says not for winter. Yeah, that's true. Not maybe not for winter. It's not convenient for winter. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going for our next student, and that student is super smart. He is also from U of T, like Kate and myself. I graduated from U of T. Uh, exactly, actually, 10 years ago. And uh, Mason is about to start. He is smart. He is handsome. He is ready. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the main man, the unbreakable, the unmistakable, the highly capable Mason Large. Hello, hello. Ooh. How's it going, everybody? Yeah. Good. Good, good. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Hi, guys. My name's Mason. I'm six foot four inches. And people tell me I look like one of those car dealership inflatable arm flailing tube men. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I don't get it. I mean, like. <laughs> <laughs> like, no resemblance, right? So in this course, we had to do an exercise where we asked people what we look like. And most people I asked um, said, I just look like every other tall white guy. <laughs> I 
I'm way more than just a tall white guy, okay? <laughs> I'm way more than that. Hell, I guarantee I am way more cultured than any of you. Whoa. <laughs> but I, I know so much about other cultures. <laughs> yes, most of that has to do with food, but that still counts. <laughs> and guess what? I can do accents too. You guys want to see accents? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? All right. We'll start off with a classic. <clears throat> Hello, and welcome to this nature documentary. My <laughs> name is David Attenborough. <laughs> <laughs> I was British. How about Australian? All right, mate. How are you? Scottish? Oh, you bastard. What are you doing? <laughs> uh... How about Italian? Oh no, I burn him that spaghetti. <laughs> Japanese? Hello. And welcome to Sushi Master. <laughs> <laughs> Spanish? Ay, Maria, this is the most beautiful day that I have ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> How about Mexican? Hey, how you doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> See? I'm interesting. I'm not just the token white guy or the tall friend or the smart friend. I'm actually the token white, tall, smart friend. <laughs> Who can do accents. <laughs> <laughs> I have something to contribute. All right. I want to talk about the pandemic. Pandemic's been hard, man. And being in school has been really energy draining. Like, I'm tired. <laughs> and I'm also a millennial. It turns out when you're a tired millennial, everything stresses you out. <laughs> Eating stresses me out. Talking to people stresses me out. But doing things I really enjoy doing stresses me out. <laughs> <laughs> so many things bother me, man. And I hate it when people don't understand me or don't notice when things are bothering me. Like I've been told so many times that I seem like such a laid back, happy guy who never has any stress or problems. The truth is I'm like the most anxious person ever. I just keep it all inside. I don't know how to let it out, you know? Like, do I exercise and try to work the stress out? Do I put on a movie and try to relax? take my mind off it? Do I eat 10 scoops of ice cream and put myself into a coma? <laughs> Might work. Or do I just bite the bullet and try heroin? Point is, there are so many options. <laughs> Emotions are complicated, man. <laughs> I'm so tired of having to fight my own brain just to make it through the day. Like, it's so dramatic. <laughs> like, all it takes is a little stomach ache to turn uh, a little sit down to have a snack into a major existential crisis. Like, I'm sitting there, about to eat my snack, and my evil emo twin comes out to bully me. Why are you eating alone, Mason? <laughs> Even if this wasn't a pandemic, you'd still be alone. <laughs> Should you be eating that? Doesn't that give you gas? Doesn't <laughs> gas make your life hell? You're irresponsible. God, you must be really messed up in the head. Not wrong. <laughs> <laughs>
All right. Well, that's all, folks. <clears throat> that's my uh, Russian Bugs Bunny accent. Still working on that one. <laughs> all right. That's all I got. Thank you so much. <laughs> Round of applause for Mason. Oh my God, I love the accents, man. The Spanish telenovela one, the Spanish soap opera one was so good. I loved it. <laughs> yeah, man, you got some lots of comments. Well, that's funny by Juliana. Great job. That's why we have comedy, natural comedian. Huang says, now you look like any other regular tall white Australian. <laughs> Damn, that was good, Mason. Oh, man, so good. Another round of applause for Mason. Virtual round of applause, applause, yeah. I want to congratulate all the students that were here today for, for because of literally technical difficulties with Leo because he's connecting out of, of uh, Bogota, Colombia, like an hour outside of the capital. The, the internet is messed up, so Leo couldn't join us. But... We, we were with him the whole, the whole course, and uh, his set was incredible. We're going to see if he can join the other grad show next week so that he can still uh, graduate. I want to acknowledge the four students that graduated today because they were vulnerable. They made us laugh. We got like over 100 comments in the chat. Everyone had a great time. And these, these are not just like made-up jokes like, <clears throat> that you can read on the internet. They... They spoke from the heart. They were vulnerable. They connected with the audience. It's a lot harder to do this in front of a computer and still connect with the audience and look and make sure that you're not missing on anyone, still connect, still have pauses, still laugh, and you can't really hear the audience reaction. So it's, it, it makes it a little more tricky. So congrats to, to the four of you. This was incredible. And uh, at Malpensando, we always uh, recognize our students and we always uh, want to acknowledge them. So we have, believe it or not, graduation diplomas. Because uh, most of the students, or, or all of them, they have never really graduated from anything. So this is a big deal for them. You know, this is, <laughs> this is huge for them. <laughs> okay, so we're going re to call them up in the order in which they appeared. And... We're gonna clap and we're gonna allow the student to, to say a couple of words and then we're gonna go and recognize the, the next person. So the first student to perform today, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back and congratulate Kate. Hello, hello, thank you, thank you, thank you. This was amazing. This was such a good experience. I'm so grateful for having connected with you guys in this. This energy of this show is so cool. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you you're, so you're. much. Thank you, Kate. Fun fact, Kate and um, I met Kate and Mason at a Speaking with Confidence workshop that we delivered at the University of Toronto a couple months ago. And they participated. We connected really well. And then they ended up joining our six-week program, which was instrumental. They were, like, so good at the course, shared everything. So I'm, I'm very proud of you, Kate, and so happy that you were so vulnerable and, and able to share and connect with the audience. Our next student that we want to recognize and commend is from Turkey, from Cyprus, from uh, Saudi Arabia, Canada, uh, everywhere. Ladies Me. and gentlemen, welcome back and round of applause for Kostas Theodolo. Hello everyone. Uh, just wanted to say thanks. Uh, this has been like a great opportunity, a great uh, experience, and I had a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, that's what I have to say right now, honestly. Thanks a lot, guys. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, Costas. I also want to give props to Costas because he is a, a certified accountant, and right now he is on month end working and year end. I mean, working with all his clients, and he's like, it's, he's been working like thirty six hour days, pretty much. Has worked so hard to to rehearse and be here and take the time. So Costas, we're so happy, and also because Costas is gonna go live to Greece in a couple of months. 
So that adds to the pressure and the stress. So Costas, man, we're so happy that you did the grad show. You made everyone laugh. And especially for for your positive impact in the group, like you're always so positive and get, getting everyone to to participate at, at their best in the group. So thank you again. Mm -hmm. The next student that we want to congratulate again is from Lima. He is also, a lot of you don't know, he's a really good chef. We both play poker, love poker. We're both really, really tall. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back the Peruvian <laughs> stallion, Paulo. Thank you, everybody. It was a pleasure. Thank you, Juan. Thank you, Stefan. It was amazing, really. Um, uh, well, yeah, I, I thought I wasn't prepared a couple hours ago, but I think it went well. Happy mm, for that. Yeah. Um, thumbs up for everybody. Everybody did an amazing job. And, but I have to, I have to say amazing. You were fucking amazing. Yeah. yeah, man, you've made yeah, me yeah, amazing so much, man. So yeah. much. like, it, like literally, you did a show like normally someone would pay for. Woo, woo, woo. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Beautiful. Thank you, thank you, Paulo. I'm, I'm. Thank you, so thank much, you for man. those kind. Thank you for those kind words. Uh, I, I, I'm super grateful because. And at the beginning of the course, you made it, you made everyone feel super cool. You shared some vulnerable stories and, and that, that just made the, the group really click. And uh, we're, we're so grateful that now we have a friend in Peru for everyone. And, um, and we also, one of the classes, we stay like 45 minutes after just talking about poker. <laughs> and uh, I secretly want to call you every day to talk about poker. And now I want to go to Peru to play poker all day. Uh, but maybe not because I'll lose all my money to you. Okay. So uh, now we want to recognize the, uh, the headliner, the closer of this show directly from the U.S. and Canada, the main man. Another round of applause for Mason Lord. Yeah, Mason. Thank you. Thank you. I'd, I'd like to thank the Academy. <laughs> <laughs> this this course was an absolutely amazing experience um i yeah i i just from the very beginning i i knew i was gonna you know i was gonna look back and and not even be able to believe what like how far i'd come and i wasn't disappointed it was yeah and and yeah I was so proud and, and impressed by everyone in, in the course. Um, everyone, you know, had a, had a sort of a long journey to get to this point. Um, and a lot of, uh, sort of rough patches. Um, but we all, uh, pulled together and, and, and made it through. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm really, really happy with that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Another round of applause for Mason. Woo! Thank you I so want to hear some comments from his his other his other personality. Oh. Yeah, Mason. <laughs> which one? What which one? What did your emo twin say? <laughs> that was all right. <laughs> yeah, Mason. One of the things about Mason that I'm that I'm super proud of is that. Because in the course, we always talk like from the heart vulnerability and not what we want people to hear from us, but what we actually want to say. And one of the things at the beginning with Mason that we both shared and, and that a lot of us uh, identified with is that sometimes what we want to share and communicate and say doesn't come out right. And one of the things that Mason expressed that we that we all agreed is that we we all battle with self-expression and through the premises that we came up with each week that we brought in each week that really reflect who we are like mason was able to really vocalize and and verbalize what he thought and do it like super authentically like I, like we're super proud of you I, i'm so happy like i i i wish i could hug you but you're seven feet taller than me so i can't really hug you um but you are in toronto so so hopefully we will meet 
pretty soon. Another uh, fun fact is that Mason does the best homemade mayo in Toronto. And Paulo also has the best homemade mayo and mustard maybe in Lima as well. And I stayed talking with Paulo after class about poker. And Mason and Paulo stayed, like, talked also in class about home-cooked meals. And that's what united them. I'm so proud of the entire group. Costas, Kate, Leo, Paulo. And, and, and I mean, uh, Leo Leo is obviously not here. But he, he also did an incredible job and, and rehearsed, unfortunately, the internet. But this is the time when now we open up the mics to, to whoever in the audience to, to <laughs> say some. Paulo, you want to say something? Yeah, it's a little behind the scenes that you don't know. Costas wrote me on WhatsApp asking me about poker. (laughs) (laughs) So I gave him some tips. Yeah, very useful tips. I love it. I'm I'm happy. I'm happy. Like everyone just became super close. And after the fourth class where where we read our like first draft, Typically, this is just by context. This is like the 43rd level one that we've had. And, and it doesn't fail. Like after the fourth class, the first draft, people start panicking. And this group wasn't the exception. Like everyone's like, no, I don't want to do the show. I learned a lot, like 25 tips and techniques. I'm just not going to do the show. I have too much work, blah, 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 blah. But like when everyone, when anyone was nervous, the other people would support and uh, like I'm just so happy, and and um, the person who did it the best out of this entire course, no doubt, is Melissa. Melissa, round of applause for Melissa. <laughs> Kill the <this> show. <laughs> Me- <laughs> Melissa was there supporting us every Wednesday. <laughs> I'm so happy, and then Melissa also helped Paulo. Okay, now we want to open it up quickly, uh, Rodrigo. Rodrigo, do you want to say some words? You're already in the camera, and uh, Rodrigo's uh, son. Okay, Rodrigo, activate the, the mic. Tell us here who you were supporting, and uh, and what did you think of the show? Hello. Yes. Uh, hi. Uh, I think what's great was great. I think that they, they they managed really 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 a nice. Uh, yeah, great job, you guys. Yeah, it was awesome. Well, it was was really, really, really good to to, to hear. And who are you here supporting? Thanks for coming, guys. Mason, yeah. Mason, amazing. Yeah, amazing, amazing. Amazing. <laughs> amazing. That's your stage name, man. Me, yeah. <laughs> the amazing. Mason Lurch. Awesome, awesome job, Mason. Really, really good. Muy bien. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Muy bien. Gracias. Gracias. <laughs> Muy bien. Now I'm now I'm curious. If Rodrigo is in Argentina and Mason grew up in Ohio, no, no. In Canada. Nosotros estamos estamos ahora en Akron, Ohio. Ah, están en Akron. Okay, perfect. Mason and okay, Memo. Sorry. Mason and Memo are very good friends. Yeah, we went to school together back in the. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There you go. I get the connection. Are you also six four? Oh no. I, I'm I'm like a six one. I, no, I'm I'm five eleven. I'm no, not no, even gonna brag about one. it. No, I'm not. <laughs> me, so. The dad wants the son to, to the dad wants the son to be taller. I love it. <laughs> He's like five eleven. He's like, no, nah, you're six two. I'm like, no, no, I, nah, you're six seven. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Memo, so good to meet you. Uh, okay, we also have another tradition before we we open up another mic before everyone leaves. Let's activate the cameras and take a picture just to have a, a, a cool memory, a cool souvenir. So Pilar, Juliana, Emily, Beatriz, uh, everyone, everyone. Pete Lorch, I see you. Juliana, I love it. Oh, you got everyone there. I'm so proud. Emily, activate your camera. And let's, uh, let's on the count of three, let's all say like, ah, one, two, Three. Okay, I got the picture. It's a really good picture. Okay, so whoever. Hey, hey, I want to. I want to jump in really quick and say, uh, as Stefan said, I'm one of the co-founders. I wasn't able to 
join you guys throughout this uh, six, five week workshop because I was doing my own group in Spanish. So I was super excited to see your shows tonight. First time. And they were incredible. In, like, I, I wasn't expecting that much. Very proud. I know all of you went through like uh, tough patches that you had to overcome and deal with to be here. But I know as a group, as a group, each other, we're just pushing each other, helping each other, just pulling towards this day. And uh, you guys came together, you delivered, and you were fucking incredible. So thank <laughs> you so much for trusting the process. Thank you for being yes. here. Very proud. I was, unfortunately, I was trying to help my dad join the call. He wasn't able to make it. We tried everything. So he's probably going to join the next workshop where he's going to try to do the, the next graduation. But in any case, I'll share it with the group. So you guys get to see Leo graduating. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Thank you again for trusting Malpensando. This is just the beginning. It's a huge family. It's not only a workshop, it's a com community. So hopefully you guys take advantage of what you are part of today. When is your Spanish group happening? They're graduating on the 15th. Send us the link. Stefan, send us the link. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. share the link. So next next Tuesday, I'll share the link. Uh, cancel all the poker games on Tuesdays. You have to be here for the graduation. <laughs> okay. Uh, Juan, for context, like he said, he, he's the – he's. We're both the, the co-founders and he was teaching. He's in charge of the Spanish group and I'm in charge of the English group. And every term we switch it up and we both also teach the level two and the level three because this is the level one. So thank you, Juan, for, for being here. Now I want to open it up to, to Mariana, who did the level one recently in Spanish and tell us what she thought of, uh, of, uh, of Paulo. Yen Yen habla inglés. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dinos en español, and I'll say I think you have. I'll yeah, translate. that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> no, I like it. I like it a lot. I like everybody, and yes, Mason. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Really good. No, I'm happy that Mariana was here. Paolo was like, ah, I don't know if my mom will like my set. I don't know. If, I don't know if we're all ready. I don't know. But then it's incredible. Like we're all, we're, like it went incredible. I trusted in Paolo set, everyone set, and I'm so happy for all of you. Pilar, Pilar is another Malpensando student. Pilar, how uh, what, how did you see the show? Did you like it? I can't hear you. I think you're not on mute, but we still can't hear you. <laughs> okay. Okay, in the meantime, P. Lorch, I, I'm not a detective, but I, I suspect that you're related to Mason Lorch. P. Lorch, would you unmute yourself and tell us what you thought of, of this incredible show? There we go. Uh, still on mute, but we can see. There you go. Yeah. I thought it was awesome. You guys, everybody just knocked it out of the park. It was really good. Well, that's incredible. We're happy. We're happy. Uh, how are you related to Mason? I'm dad. Yeah. Oh, amazing. <laughs> yeah. Super proud. I'm mom. <laughs> Yeah! Woo! Yes. That, that alter ego of his, that was me until he was maybe 12 or 13. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Well, I have to say that Mason told us at the beginning that I have this little book where I journal called The Artist's Way. And if I'm not, you recommended that to Mason. And that really, that's how Mason and I bonded initially. And we used some of the techniques from the artist's way, which is a, a little book. And it's, uh, you journal a lot and that way you learn what you really love. And it's a lot of self-awareness and lots of positive stuff. And we both bonded over that. And we used some of those techniques in the course. 
to be able to verbalize and just really express what what we authentically want to say. So thank you for so for sharing that with Mason because it's a great book, and we're so happy that you were able to see the show as well. Yeah. No. We were okay. Really I, uh, great. Go go ahead. Go ahead. I just said it was great. We we're really happy to watch, and everybody did a wonderful job. It's a great program. Thank you. Thank you for that. And now, I think everyone. Oh, Pilar, Pilar, we. Can you speak? You're still on mute. <laughs> I mean, you're not on mute, but we still can't hear you. No, she is on mute this time. Okay, you're on mute. Can you unmute yourself? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, now you're not on mute. Let's see. Say hi. No, I, I, we're gonna I have we'll another just, seven week lips. workshop. Yeah, maybe we can read lips. Pilar, go like this. Did you like the show? <laughs> okay, good. That just shows uh, that 70% of communication is body language. So we don't, it's what we learned in the course. There you go. We don't even need to hear her to be able to say and uh, and understand that she loved the show. And then Beatriz, Beatriz is, is Juan's mom. She's also there always supporting us since day one. <laughs> Even before Juan and I quit our bank jobs in 2017 to pursue this professionally and we founded the school, <laughs> Beatriz was still there supporting us even before that. So we love her. We love her. She always receives us in her house in London, Ontario when we tour there. And she is one of the Malpensandos. She's in the Hall of Fame of Malpensando for sure. All right, my friends, we've come to an end and we're going to ask the audience to say goodbye, say goodbye and, and, and message your students, message your friends. And then we're gonna ask the students to, uh, we're gonna ask the students to stay behind so that we can just briefly comment on the show and uh, just to, um, give you some closing remarks. So with that, thank you, Lisbeth Herrera. Thank you, Presa Immigration Services for being our partners. Thank you to everyone who came, Rodrigo, uh, Mariana, P. Lorch, Pilar, Beatriz, um, the stewards who were there and, and got disconnected. Mm -hmm. On the count of three, this show comes to an end. One, two, three. Boom. This show has concluded. <laughs> Thank you very much, my friends. Bye, Take everyone. care, students. <laughs>